You know, I can play a mean rendition of Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. Hey! What's up, my peoples? I'm Go Here, the freaking geek himself, and today we will be reviewing the common writer Geats DX Beat Axe. So here we are, and there it is. And first and foremost, as always, we'll take a quick look at the packaging. Right up front here, we have the Beat Axe, we have Geats, we have Nago. Up top, we have the Beat Axe on this side, Beat Axe on this side, Nago and Geats. On the back of the box, you have your obligatory product shots, this, that, the other things and stuff. On the bottom, we have warning, don't eat anything in this box that could be very bad for you, and of course we have Sad Pac-Man That's basically it for the packaging and moving right along, here we have the Beat Axe, and this is the weapon that accompanies the Beat Raise Buckle, and uh, yeah, this is pretty cool, I really like this, we're gonna hear some very, some very fun stuff with this weapon, it is a weapon, as you can see, it's supposed to be, you know, an electric guitar slash axe, there you go, guitar mode, axe mode, that's pretty much all there is to that transformation, but uh, yeah, let's get in close here, so we can take a look. At the details, you get some nice gold paint here. Of course, you have the color scheme that uh, is reminiscent of the Ray's buckle itself. We have the sticker right here, which gives you a lot of, oh, look, oh, oh, look at it. Oh, it's moving. Oh, it's magic. But anyway, you have a little toggle switch right here, which will activate noises. We have this big button right here, which will activate noises. Um, only one of the buttons on the fretboard actually activates noises, and it's this one right here. The rest of them are just molded in place. They don't do anything. There you have the neck, just done in black. And uh, we're going to feel like we're playing Guitar Hero all over again. But hey, I'm a fan. I'm here for it. But on the other side, not a whole lot to talk about. It does have Sad Pac-Man. Just mold it on it forever in shame if the camera will focus. There we go. Oh, poor Sad Pac-Man. But there is your battery compartment. The batteries are included, so you don't have to worry about that. Your on-off switch is right here. It does have a little hook, so you can hook this onto the desired driver if you want to. And your speaker is right here. So, without further ado, let's get down to the noises. This is going to be fun. So, your on-off switch again is right here. Turn it on, and we get... Tells you what it is, in case you already forgot. We get a little riff with it, too. And, uh, yeah, so in axe mode, you're going to hold it like this, and you're just going to push this button... You get a little slashy, you know, musical noise. You can rapid fire that if you want to. But in guitar mode, we can toggle this and... Get some tunes! It just loops. Do it again. One more time. That's it. There you go. You just turn it off by hitting the big button there. Now this big button will basically change modes for you, so push it once. You have Funk Blizzard. Rock Fire. Metal and Metal Thunder. So, we'll just start off with... Funk Blizzard. Funk Blizzard. And then we toggle. You can do it again. It's funky. Oh, you're ready to go. Just push the button here. And you have your tactical blizzard. So I'll do it again. Rock fire. 
Rock fire! And you have your tactical fire. One more time. Metal thunder. The metal thunder. Let's bring the thunder, shall we? And you have your tactical thunder. Funk and you go back to Funk Blizzard. Tactical Blizzard. And explosions and explosions. <laughs> and that is pretty much all it does, but that is really cool in my opinion. So there you go. So there you have the Beat Axe, and uh, yeah, I love this thing, absolutely love it. I mean, I'm a rocker myself, so I love all the music that is coming out of this thing, really cool. I just, I love it, I absolutely love it. It doesn't do a lot, but what it does is really cool and really fun as far as I'm concerned, so... There you go. Now I picked this up from CS Toys, but of course there are many other sites you can go to for stuff like this if you're interested, such as Hobby Link Japan, Ami Ami, Hobby Search, Mandarake, of course there's always eBay and Amazon. You can also check out BigBadToyStore.com for Geet's items. I'll put a link to their site in the description down below so you can check that out. You can also check out the Geet's playlist for any reviews you may have missed, also linked in the description down below so you can check that out as well. And I think that's it, so don't forget to check out M Games, check out Love Peace Paranormal, follow me on Twitter, all of that good stuff down in the description below, and I think that's pretty much all there is to say. So, there is the Common Writer Geats, DX Beat Axe, and this is M Go saying, remember, you don't stop playing because you grow old, you grow old because you stop playing. Big Geek, be proud, palm in your face.